welcome to this locator's video on daily checks. Today we're focusing on access equipment and this is the Manitou 100 VJR, a vertical lift platform with a, with a short jib. What do we want to do first of all when we check the machine daily? A general inspection is a good idea to make sure there's no obvious defects. We can start with the tyres, make sure there's no chunks outside of them. We can obviously look at the basket, make sure there's no cracks in the, in the frame, in the subframe, or any damage that would prevent the structural integrity of the basket and the safety of the operator. The first actual check is the battery fluid levels, where you can find the batteries underneath the bonnet here. Being wet cell, Clearly, if we, take, if we open a cell, we need to wear hand and eye protection. However, what we'd be looking to do, check that the water is up to the top of the filter, not to the top of the cell. Top it up with distilled water, and that's it. Next, we would want to check the battery charge. You'll find that battery charge indicator on the side panel, or side control panel. The easiest way to find that is just close this up. And you can clearly see it when you turn it on, how much charge you have. You want as much charge as you need to carry out the work, however it's a good idea to charge this on a daily basis to ensure that you've got the maximum that you require. The next check would be the hydraulic oil level, and we can find the hydraulic oil tank underneath this point. Swing it out. We can lift off if necessary, however, just to check the oil, we don't actually have to because we can see the minimum and the maximum marks from here. Continuing on, once we've obviously done the uh, general inspection, the battery fluid levels and the hydraulic oil level, we need to check the platform controls. That's not only controls on the ground, but also controls in the basket. Firstly, let's check the controls on the ground. Obviously, key in the correct position to ensure we can operate it. Press the dead man that controls the function, and then actually check the function itself. From there, we would need to Turn it to the basket so then we can go and check the controls in the basket to ensure the platform work is safe to work. Once we've checked the controls on the ground from the rescue, uh, the rescue control panel, we need to check the controls in the basket itself. To check the controls you don't need to wear a harness, however if your individual risk assessment determines that you do, please wear one. What would we be doing? Again, press the dead man to activate the function, do the function. All working. One important control that we haven't mentioned yet is the emergency stop buttons. What can be found in the base here? What can be found in the cage? It's very important that they work in the event of the operator um, getting into trouble. So, clearly that works. The other thing we need to check, if fitted, is secondary guarding or anti-crush. Unfortunately, this machine isn't fitted with it, so we can't show you. However, you would need to go through the standard procedure for the use of that, just to check that works as well. We mentioned that we need to check the, the ground controls to, in the event of needing to rescue the operator, but also we may need to use the manual pump in the event of the battery failing. So that can be found underneath the bonnet. On this side here, with the handle here, the procedure is laid out with a sticker as it is in the operator's manual. When it comes to weekly maintenance, the obvious thing is, is the wheel nuts. It does say weekly in the operator's manual, however, it is a sort of unwritten rule to check this daily. So, all of this information can be found in the operator's manual, which is stored in this uh, watertight container here. So, in the event of any problems, always refer to the operator's manual. That concludes our video. Thank you very much.